A very good day to you and welcome to the program. I want to speak to you about being judgmental. Jesus says clearly, take the plank out of your own eye before you try and help your brother and take the speck out of his eye. Folks, what I'm trying to say to you is if you're an alcoholic, ask God to help you and he will to stop your habit and then help other people. Don't try and help other people stop drinking if you can't yourself. That's basically what I believe God's saying. If we look at uh, Matthew chapter 7 and from verse 1 to 5, this is what the word says, Judge not that you not be not judged. For with what judgment you judge, you will be judged. And with the same measure you use, it will be measured back to you. And why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye, but you do not consider the plank in your own eye? Verse 4, or how can you say to your brother, let me remove the speck out of your eye and look, a plank is in your own eye. Hypocrite, see that's the problem folks, hypocrisy. Hypocrite, first remove the plank from your own eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck out of your brother's eye. That's the word of the Lord. I believe firmly that a lot of people are not interested in what we say. They want to see the change in our lives. When they see that there's no longer a plank in your own eye, they will come and ask you and me to remove the speck out of their eye. A man who is continually unfaithful to his wife, how can he possibly counsel people going through separation, a separation process? He can't. They're not interested in listening to him. A man whose family are uh, in the world, children denying Christ, spouse not interested, and yet you persistently preaching Jesus. What the Lord says is, go home, get your own house in order first, and then come and help other people to get their houses in order. Folks, charity begins at home. The Lord says clearly in His Word, a man who cannot take care of his own family is worse than an infidel. An infidel is an unbeliever. You know why? Because he's a hypocrite. At least an infidel says, I don't believe. But this man says he believes, but his lifestyle is totally up the, up the creek, as they say. I want to encourage you. I'm talking to myself as well. This is a word God gave me this morning. We need to begin to sort ourselves out first before we can help others. Many people come to me and say, I want to go and preach the gospel. I say, why? Sounds like a ridiculous question. Why? I'll tell you why. Because in some cases, not all, obviously, people are running away from their circumstances. They want to go and help other people, but they don't want to put their own home straight first. The hardest place to be a believer is in your own home. I really want to exhort you. Come before the Lord after this program. Get on your knees. Say, Lord, I am so sorry. I've been acting like a hypocrite. I've been telling everybody else how to live. And my own life is in a mess. People will not listen to you, folks. They want to see a difference in your life first. The way it happens is like this. People come to you and to me and they say, I want what you've got. I want the joy, the peace. I want the vision that you've got. Can you help me? Then it's very easy. Then you can pray with them. Let your words have merit. Okay? One old man said to me when I started preaching, preach so that we can see you. What does that mean? Be transparent. Let people see who you are. Folks, if we're going to change, if we're going to make a difference in this world, it has to start with us. So remember, until next time, get that plank out of your eye. Then you can help your brother with that speck in his eye. Goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.